Meteorologist Pete Mangione with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. But before we go back to school, we have some heat to get through. Summer is not done yet. Here's what I'm tracking. Some new information coming in over the past several minutes. We have an air quality alert for southern Rhode Island. That goes into effect later on this afternoon. And a heat wave is also possible. Yesterday we hit 90 degrees at TF Green Airport. If we can do that for two additional days being today and tomorrow, that would make it our first official heat wave here in Rhode Island in over two years. It's been a while since we've seen that. And I think there's a pretty good chance of that happening. A cooler end to the week. Now our data, our models have been kind of all over the place. We'll continue to keep our eye on a front that looks to arrive Friday night into Saturday, bringing some showers and also some relief to the heat and humidity. In terms of the eyewitness news threat tracker, where we have you in the yellow category, the medium, the medium category for today because of that air quality alert. We could also have the yellow category for tomorrow because it's likely that this air quality alert will continue even warmer possibly for Monday. Blue sky out there. It looks nice. Sunglasses required this morning. Same thing here at Oakland Beach as temperatures have already warmed into the mid. Some upper 70s already out there. 74 right now in Providence, 74 Newport, 73 Westerly and we're 72 in Taunton and you can see our dew points also close to the 70s, at least down towards the south coast. We're in the mid 60s in Providence. When you have dew points in the mid 60s, it's humid and dew points stay like they are right now for a couple days, actually increasing a little bit tomorrow. Clouds in the showers from last night continue to push away. We have high pressure down to our south pumping in that heat and humidity. There's just enough moisture in the atmosphere to produce some of those clouds out there, especially into the afternoon. Those fair weather clouds will block out the sunshine at times and given the heat, you'll want some of those clouds to block out the sunshine at times, but a lot of blue sky to go around as well. Already in the upper 80s at lunchtime around 90 at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Low 80s at the beach today. Sticky the kind of afternoon where it's going to feel nice to jump right in the water, whether you're at the beach or at the pool. 83 Charlestown, 84 Westerly. These winds take a while to get going, but we will get those winds out of the southwest eventually from the middle to the later part of the afternoon, cooling off the south coast just a bit. 88 in Woonsocket, 88 in Burville. How about 90 in Johnson for the St. Rocco's Feast? So make sure you stay hydrated and seek some shade if necessary as things will be very warm out there, but at least uh, a nice sunny day for the feast in Johnston. 89 in Seekonk, 83 in Middletown, 84 Little Compton with those southwesterly breezes. Seven day future cast brings in 91 tomorrow and already by lunchtime will be in the mid to upper 80s. So if you're heading outside on your lunch break tomorrow, you'll want to uh, make sure you stay cool. And then on Tuesday, it's also humid. Chance of some showers and thunderstorms. I don't think these arrive during the daytime. Best chance would be in the evening after 6 or 7 p.m. And the most likely location of these storms would be to the north and west of Providence. Finally, we start to lower the temperatures into the low 80s towards Friday and Saturday with a chance of some showers and storms. You can get an updated future cast over on our website at WPRI.com. Now, Eyewitness Sports with Mark Dondero.